Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how I repair a part. Uh, my son has this chair that has this uh, backrest cover broken. It was broken in two pieces. It's the cover from the hinge. And I just quickly glue it, just so it stays in place for me to scan. And probably I'll um, use a little bit of dry shampoo so I can get everything nice and clean. And yeah, we'll see. And for scanning, we'll use the Creality turntable because this part fits perfectly for this and will make our job much easier. And I presume that two scans, face and bottom, will be enough for this, I hope. And we'll scan using the Creality Raptor and we'll use also blue laser and near infrared scanning just for testing. And we'll test also with the Creality Otter Light and see how they compare with the infra near infrared scanning. And we will start first with the Otter Light. So here we choose the normal and small object and now we'll use the marker feature. And now we need to adjust a little bit the exposure and brightness so we have a better scan. Something like this good, looks good enough. So let's start. So the outer light did a quite good job and it worked quite easily without any big problems. So definitely a usable scan. So now we start a new scan, same settings, but now we'll use the Creality Raptor with the near infrared. And now it's ready. I believe with the Raptor it took a little bit longer time and had some points that it lost tracking, but still a good scan. Only it seems that the auto light was a little bit faster than the Raptor in the near infrared scanning mode. So also the auto light and the Raptor did quite a good job in the near infrared scanning, both making a pretty usable scan. And now we will start scanning with the Creality Raptor using the blue laser and we'll scan at 0.2 mm resolution and see how it goes with the laser. When I start to scan, I always start at the optimal distance, but after that I always go to the good or far range. I don't know why, that's just me. Sometimes I do it on purpose, I try to scan closer and further away to get all, all the details, but sometimes I do it involuntary.
and as always with the Raptor with the blue laser you always get really nice results now let's select the plane to delete it we select three markers create plane and hit the OK button and now we just have to clean those small artifacts and that's it and we will continue with the second side scan after that with the blue laser and now we do the same thing with the second side only here I had a little bit of problems scanning those really small inside areas but we managed to get them in the end And now we need to select the plane again so we can delete it so we'll select three markers and click, click create plane and ok and now we start selecting and deleting all those artifacts And now we select both scans and click fu batch fusion and we will set them both at 0.2 resolution so both of the scans came out nice and now we can continue with mesh processing and uh, auto alignment but in this case again it didn't work and i tried again just in case and again no so we can select manual aligning and this part is quite easy i just oriented both scans in same direction and just choose uh, three common areas in, in the same place and now they are aligned perfectly so we still have a small imperfection that we need to clean up And now we can continue with the mesh processing and for mesh smoothing I said medium and fill small holes and let's see how it comes out most probably we'll need to make some small holes filling manually so everything came out nice and now we can continue with the manual hole filling and I would like to recommend to Creality if they can add the option to select multiple holes and then choose to close not selecting each one at a time because it's more time consuming like this that would be a nice thing to have and now it's ready so we can simplify the mesh usually I make them at around 
and now we can export the file. And for cleaning the holes I just use the 3D Builder from Windows. I made two cylinders, a 9mm diameter, centered them about in the middle of the holes and just click subtract for each one and you have the perfect holes. And the printing will take about two hours and a half. This is the time lapse and the part is printed from carbon fiber ABS. So here is the finished part. I remove all the supports and I just put my son's name on front so it's more custom and time to assemble and here it shows why it matters to have a good quality scanner because you scan once and if everything is going okay you print once and it's fitting perfectly and a big thanks to Creality for making the Creality Raptor and Otter Light thank you everyone for watching